Hey folks, Roger Bain from Bain Custom Woodworking. We just got back from Workbench Conference over the weekend and we were introduced to a couple of new items and I want to show you what I'm doing to improve the workflow in our shop. So one of the things we're going to do is look at dust collection. So let me pause this and turn the camera around and I will show you exactly what we're doing. Alright folks, so here you're looking at our main bench that we use for assembly, for sanding, for dominoes, for drawing, our outfeed table for the table saw. It really does a lot of work back here. So what we normally do if we're sanding here, we use an apparatus that we have seen on the internet multiple areas and a lot of people have them, are these little carts right here that hold the dust stopper, our vacuum, our hoses. Works really well has done its job exactly as I've asked of it. It sucks in all the dust, keeps it out of the shop, and allows me to work on my tools. The problem with it is, if you can see, I have about three and a half feet here. Ideal for working. I can work on the assembly bench here. I can turn around and get my tools that are on the walls. Assemble with my wall control boards. I can get to some of the materials that I'm working with right at hand. I don't have to do a lot of walking. It's all there. As you can see, we've got a number of things lined up to do some uh, polyurethane on some projects here. But it's all right here within that arm's length of my workbench. It's all well and good except for when we need to move this cart in and out. And we grab this hose. And excuse me for a moment as I grab that. It's a little... It's a little stiff, is kind of rigid, but if you see, as we hook it up here, it goes in very well, and it works well. Turn it on, what's it going to do? It's going to suck dust. That's what we care about, and it has worked great for a few years. The problem is, is it's very stiff, and it takes up a lot of room for me to walk back and forth, and now I've got extra cords around. So... After being at Workbench Con during February, Rockler introduced to us a couple of new products. So let me show you what I've done and how I've assembled that. Have not wandered away from my workbench, I'm still working on it. But what I've added is this adapter right here that will allow me to connect my main dust collection system. I've added this hose that you see here laying on the floor, nice and flexible. So if I pick it up, it's gonna move really well with me. So it's a little bit more flexible than the one I've been using. And it will allow me to connect one of these adapters that came with the hose to my tools. So let's do just that. Let me grab one of those adapters and let's connect it to our fest tool here. So as you can see, we've adapted, we've put that on our fest tool. It's fairly tight. As you see, this is going to move. So let me grab the end of the hose. That hose is going to come in, and that is left-handed. Screw that right in. That is now on my tool. So here it is, the hose that's connected. Well, let's do one other thing. Let's go over and get our hose for our dust system. Our dust system is already set up in the shop. As you can see, let me pan over here. You can see we're using PVC pipe to do that. At this point, that's working fine for me. We have a long hose here. We actually have two of them in the shop. We can hook to any of our tools that we have. But right now, this hooks to this guy. So what's going to happen is instead of having the cart to trip over with the extra power cords and things, I now have one power cord for the tool, and I have this connected to my workbench that I never have to take off. So if I turn on my DOS system... So let's take this out for a second. probably hear it 
pulling right through. Connect it up. When I turn on my Festool Domino jig, that's going to pull in all of that sawdust from that tool. So it allows me now the freedom to walk behind my benches and between my benches without tripping over the hose. And that hose is much more flexible. Really like this blue hose. But we're not done yet. We've added one more feature to the shop to again eliminate having to drag this guy around. Again, it served me well, but this is going to serve me better. So hold on a second and let me show you the next step. So right here, you see my portable cart. This is a cart that's about four foot wide, a little bit more than four foot long. And we use this to put our projects on that need to be mobile. Some of the heavier items, the items that just need to be out of the way and they can, we can spin it. We can do a lot with this cart. It can actually go out of our big door and work outside if we need to. But I do a lot of my things like my track saw on here. As you can see, the Craig track saw, uh, plunge saw is attached to it already. We can also sand here if it's a bigger project so that our sanders could be here. But here's what I did, and let me duck down here so you can see. I purchased another one of those Rockler adapters. It's attached to the bottom side of the bench. I can hook the same hose to it, hook my same dust collection system to it, and now I can hook it to my plunge saw. I can hook it to a router over here. I can hook it to a sander. There are a lot of things we do on this mobile bench. This guy right here is going to save me a lot of walking. It's going to also save me from tripping over another device in my small shop. So, let me pan around here. Take a look. Just kind of tucked underneath there. So it's out of the way. And now I can work. So we've moved from this dust collection system to a much smaller unit that our main dust collection system can attach to with a vacuum line that I can work on my workbench on all of my portable tools. I can also go over there and I can work on my portable workbench that moves around and still have the same convenience of my main dust collection system. Again, this is the Dust Right Flexport Power Tool Hose Kit from Rockler and the adapter from Rockler. I really hope this helps somebody. I hope somebody else can use this information. Feel free to email me at info at bainecustomwoodworking.com if you have any questions. Check out our website and check out our Instagram feed. Thank you very much. Have a great day.